This is a special presentation from News Channel Nebraska. Welcome back to News Channel Nebraska's nightly variety show on a Friday night. We are so glad that you have joined us, and we've got a treat for you tonight. We've got a young lady from right off the farm in Royal, Nebraska, went on to serve her country, and tonight she's here to delight us with her music, uh, her story, and so much more. And so if you are looking for a way to unwind after what may have been a long week, you know, if you're watching the news Certainly, we have things to talk about with all the stuff going on in the world. This next two hours is dedicated to uh, just escaping that and enjoying live music right here on News Channel Nebraska. Quarantine Tonight is brought to you by the University of Nebraska Medical Center. We thank them for their steadfast support of live music and celebrating the talents of musicians across the state of Nebraska that, uh, trust me, they don't do it for the money, but they do it because they want you to release, to enjoy, and to forget about all the other stuff in the news for two hours so that we can enjoy ourselves right here on this program. Uh, just a reminder, next week we have a very special treat. Uh, let's see, our performer tonight is from Royal. Our performer on Tuesday night is a world-class pianist from Creighton, Nebraska. Stephen Larson is returning to this program. We're going to wheel out the Lutheran High Northeast Grand Piano. His daughter, who's also on her way to being a world-class violinist, is going to be joined by two additional classically trained singers. And we are going to be entertaining you on Tuesday night with music uh, you'll just enjoy from Broadway to opera to uh, contemporary favorites. We've got an absolute treat for you next Tuesday night. Of course, we go Monday through Friday on this show. It's time now, as we do every night uh, for our evening prayer. Tonight, we have a uh, priest that's up in Cedar County, uh, well known in much of Northeast Nebraska as Father James Kiter with our evening prayer. Good evening, Nebraska. My name is Father James Kiter. I'm pastor of All Saints Parish, St. Rose of Lima Parish, and Holy Family Parish in northern Cedar County and northern Knox County. Let us pray. Lord God, in times of trial and struggles, we also experience your many blessings. And so we thank you. We thank you for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ. We thank you for the gift of grace, the gift of your mercy, the gift of your love. We thank you for the gift of life. In this spring season, as we see everything turn green and the crops begin to grow that have been planted, we recognize how great you are. And so, Lord, as we enjoy the music and the talents of individuals from across Nebraska, may we give thanks for your many blessings, your many graces that you bestow upon us. In a special way, we pray for those who have been struggling because of this coronavirus. We pray for them. We lift them up to you, trusting that your care, that your healing, that your peace may envelop them and give them strength, give them courage, and give them hope. Thank you, God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, for all that you give us today and every day. Amen. Thank you so much, Father Kiter, for that evening prayer. Good looking church behind him tonight. So uh, we welcome Kimberly Meyer to the program. She is uh, originally from Royal. She grew up in a farm. How many miles north of Royal, Nebraska? About seven miles. Is that Antelope or Knox County where you're at? Well, technically, right on the county line. Oh. Yeah, my parents live in Knox County, but 
right across the road where the mailbox is is antelope county uh, country so, girls yeah. know that so <laughs> yeah. she's got a 12 on her plate growing up uh, but now she lives in plainview but her road to plainview went through the university of south dakota where she joined the uh, south dakota national guard which uh, first of all thank you for your service thank you. uh, she is a sergeant e5 and uh, how many years have you been in the guard I will actually be coming up on my 10th year of this year. My goodness. Yeah. <laughs> and on top of being in the guard, she's also in a special detachment uh, that has the band, right? Yes, it's the 147th Army Band is my unit and they're based out of Mitchell, South Dakota. So if the governor of South Dakota says, we're gonna need a band on the front lawn of the uh, governor's <laughs> mansion in Pierre, you've got 48 hours oh, to get there. It. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Because he's your commander in chief, right, of the South Dakota National Guard? She. Oh, she. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Christy Nome yep. is the governor of the state of South Dakota. Well, let's talk about you. Uh, we've heard great things about you. I've seen you perform before. Tell me uh, what your influences have been musically. Well, you know, growing up on a farm, you know, just riding around in the truck, and I'm going to talk about this a little bit later, but um, just you know, 80s, 90s country was kind of my thing. And um, actually, you know, as old as Patsy Cline and, you know, Tammy Wynette, those are huge influences on me as well. So do you have a lot of family watching tonight uh, to see Well, Kimberly? I think so. Good. <laughs> yeah. our, our viewing just went up in uh, Knox <laughs> and Cedar County. Uh, we want to, first of all, say thank you for coming. Thank you for your service. Tell us what tonight's going to be like uh, from a performance, because if people think you're just going to sing country, they haven't seen your song list. You're no, very diverse. No. <laughs> well, first of all, thank you for having you me. Bet. You yeah. bet. Um, so I've got a lot of country, a little classic rock, um, a little bit of current rock. Um, and I might play a polka for you. That's why she wore the yeah. polka dot yep. dress. polka dot dress for the... <laughs> I will okay. give you this. You are the only artist that has, you have brought the most instruments of any yeah. one person that's appeared on this show. She has a, what is it, a clarinet, a banjo, a guitar, and a keyboard. You need your own stage crew just for you. Yeah. That's you know it, somebody? <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like you brought somebody here. So, hey, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are excited to have Kimberly Meyer with us tonight. Uh, thank you again for being here. We look forward to everything you're going to do tonight. And if you're at home, sit back and enjoy. This Nebraska country girl has a plan for the next two hours. You're watching News Channel Nebraska. Well, thank you so much. Um, I would like to actually start this evening with our national anthem. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. Oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rockets rang aloud, the bombs bursting. Nice job there. We had all the cameramen standing up and uh, hands on our hearts here at News Channel Nebraska. Kimberly Meyer, what a way to start your first song here. You just warmed your way into everybody's oh, heart at home. You. Beautiful voice. Thank you for standing too. That was really sweet. All right. It's all yours.
Thank you. So um, I'm going to start with a little classic rock tune um, by the American rock band, The Eagles. And um, this is actually going to go out to my friend Jeff. So if you're watching, this one's for you. Seven men on my mind. Oh, they wanna own me too. They wanna stone me once. Says he's a friend of mine. Take it easy. Take it easy. Don't let the sound of your own wings drive you crazy. That number you still can. Don't even try to understand. Just find a place to make your stand Take it easy mm -hmm. I'm standing on a corner in Winslow, Arizona Such a fine sight to see It's a guy in my boat in a flatbed full It's slowing down a dick and look at me Come on, baby, don't say me Eagles for you guys. Woo! <laughs> so uh, we were talking a little bit earlier about my background and what my influences were. And um, growing up on a farm, you know, people like Alan Jackson and Shania Twain and Reba McIntyre and all those people, whenever I hear those um, artists on the radio, it just takes me back to those times growing up as a kid, you know, in, in dad's pickup on the dirt roads and whatnot. Brooks and Dunn is one of those artists, so when I hear them, uh, that brings me back to that time as well. Uh, this particular song, though, it's a slower one, and it reminds me of my friend Ryan, who in high school taught me how to do the stationary cha-cha. So um, if you guys know how to do the stationary cha-cha at home, you should do that. <laughs> and then send it in. I would love to see it. This is Neon Moon. The sun goes down on my side of town. The lonesome feeling goes to my Two waiting back for 
Thank you guys. All right. So going from a little older country, I'm not going to say it's classic country because I grew up with it, uh, to a little bit newer country. Actually, uh, this is Miranda Lambert's newest song. It's called Bluebird. And first of all, I want to shout out to uh, Connie. This is her favorite song. But I love it too. And here is why. Uh, I don't know if she did this on purpose or not, but Miranda put this song out at the perfect time, and if you haven't seen some of her live videos or, you know, videos that she's posted of her playing this song on her front porch, just her acoustic, uh, do it. It's great. Um, so my favorite line in here talks about when life throws you lemons, you make lemonade out of it, right? So she's, she has a line similar to that. And we're definitely going through some lemons right now, and we should definitely try to make the best of it. I know I am. This is called Bluebird. Keeper, I keep 
Digging down for the deep Like the records I'm playing They might keep it waiting But you know I'm not playing for keeps Then the house just keeps on winning I got a wild card up my sleeve Deaf love keeps giving me lemons You just mix them in my drink Then the whole wide world stops singing And all the stars go dark You keep a light on in my soul I keep a bluebird in my heart. Ooh. Ooh. I'm a giver. I'm still giving them hell. Forgiving's pretty hard, so I made an art out. Turn 20 cents into a 10. If I get confused and I start to lose, or I'm a dime till it all makes sense. Then the house just keeps on winning. Got a wild card on my sleeve. Then love keeps giving me lemons. I just mix them in my drink. Then the whole wide world stops singing. And all the stars go dark. Keep a light on in my soul. I keep a bluebird in my heart. Ooh. 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 Keeps on winning. I got a wild card up my sleeve. Devil love keeps giving us lemons. Let's just mix them in our drinks. Let's drink up these lemons, y'all. And if the whole wide world stops singing, and all the stars go dark, keep a light on in my soul. I keep a bluebird in my heart. I keep a bluebird. Very nice. Kimberly Meyer on News Channel Nebraska's Quarantine Tonight. Very good job. Welcome yep. to our small little studio here. It's, uh, it's after perfect. having a couple nights of big bands, yeah. it's just kind of nice. We've got a very sweet voice and uh, some beautiful music here. You've picked well. You're going to move to the banjo. Oh, no, the piano is coming up next. What's mm -hmm. your favorite instrument of all the things that you play? You've got the clarinet, the banjo, the guitar. <laughs> what am I missing here? Well, Clar yeah. Yeah, <laughs> probably the piano, but don't tell my clarinet professor that from college. But <laughs> well, actually, uh, you teach piano too, I don't do, you? I do. Yes. How many students do you have? Well, it varies. Right now, it's a little lower because of what's going on. But and we've been doing Zoom lessons, which actually have been working really well. So, um, like I said, you know, when life throws you lemons, you adapt and take it head on and. Yeah, it's still fun. I still love them, you know, so. In 1984, my next door neighbor and my friend, uh, Tim McQueen, he could play the Chariots of Fire. <laughs> and so I decided I am going to take piano just to play the Chariots of Fire. So I showed up at Patty Bounds' house. I sat down. I said, listen, I'm not really here for any other purpose other than to play Chariots of Fire, and then I'm out. <laughs> you just don't sit down and learn the piano enough to play that song. And I didn't make it to Chariots of Fire. What? do you see from a student when you're like this person this young gal she's going all the way or he's going all the way what do you what are the signs of a future pianist when you're sitting down with them honestly if they remind me of me <laughs> really yeah i mean they if can't they can't get enough well yeah i mean they're they have that kind of perfectionist you know in them and you know you don't have to make them practice they want to because they actually enjoy it yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're kind of born with it, that passion. Um, you can't make a child want to play an instrument. Like, they have to want to. 
See, I agree. You and I yeah. would be on the same page. And here, just to give you an idea uh, about her passion, uh, she was prepared when she came tonight. I looked at her sheet that she handed me. Probably over And I looked at it and I said, you got all A's in school, didn't you? Because she had it down to the second. And then at the bottom, she because I was just about to ask her a question. It was like, well, do you have any extra songs? And it says... Uh, extra songs, colon. <laughs> you are very prepared. That is good. That yeah. is great. Well, we love having you on the show. Uh, we're going to, in our next round of uh, music, what are we going to hear? Um, a little bit more country, um, classic rock on the piano. Um, right. Yeah. Actually, I do have coming up, I don't remember if it's in this set or not, but I am going to do a tribute to the graduates coming up too that is awesome by the way she's in the south dakota national guard 10 years sergeant or sergeant e5 on her way to becoming an e6 we hope very soon <laughs> fingers crossed we'll be right back with more we've got a look at news tonight across nebraska followed up by weather all right here on news channel nebraska tonight so nice to have you all here um, your host Mike Flood Kimberly Meyer is performing for us tonight uh, she grew up in rural uh, Antelope and Knox County and uh, has gone on to do some good things in life she's in the uh, South Dakota National Guard she's back in living in the Plainview area and really you're starting out your solo career uh, just starting to perform after this coronavirus finishes its tight grip have you noticed it's getting a little bit better Yes, thank goodness. <laughs> Wasn't it getting old there yeah. for a while? Yeah, it's it's still old, but yeah. <laughs> now, tell me about your family. Have you had a lot of people in your family that have been quarantined uh, for a variety of reasons, uh, just to play it safe, or are they out moving around? Well, I told you earlier, I am pretty sheltered. Yeah? So are they. So yeah. growing up on a farm, they're still out on the farm. They don't see people hardly anyway. So, so their quarantine it's just is pretty much day, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's good. They're not. <laughs> it's not like they're in the middle of big crowds. That's one of the benefits. We social distance very well in Nebraska. Yeah, we do. Sounds like they do that too. All right, real quick, let's uh, go to Mike's mailbag. We've been getting some great letters from people across the state. I can't tell you how much it means to us when you share. Uh, your thoughts on our station, uh, especially uh, what kind of music you like, the artists that you've really enjoyed. All of that helps us with this program. And here are tonight's letters. Here's Laura Owens from Creighton. She's also from Knox County. I enjoy the show. I tune in to listen to the music. She likes 70s and 80s easy rock. I like the idea of playing bingo. I like how she said that. She likes the idea of it. It doesn't say she's played it yet. We have so much talent here in Northeast Nebraska. We certainly do. Laura and Kimberly is an example of that. Uh, here's Mary from South Sioux City. So glad she found NCN on Channel 98. I look forward to 8 p.m. for quarantine tonight when I see some good entertainment and uh, have they've been good. I'm so impressed to see the program start with a prayer. I especially enjoyed the Bert Heithold little group. Bert is a master on that accordion. I hope you will have them back sometime soon. Also, your Sunday morning worship service are awesome. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Mary from South Sioux City. And here's one from Line. Uh, I'm not sure where that is. Enjoy your two hours of music Monday through Friday. It's a soul lifter in these troubled times. My son in Norfolk and brother in North Bend told me about your program. I'm not a big TV watcher, but now I can't wait for 8 to 10 p.m. Time to relax and enjoy. Love polkas, big band, patriotic, old country western, her favorite so far, Mark Villadal. Uh, keep up the good work even after the pandemic ends. Thanks, millions. God's blessings always. And uh, didn't share the name there, but we very much appreciate uh, those letters. And if you would write us one, if you already have, thank you. If you haven't, please let us know you're watching. Uh, the number or the letter or the address, I should say, on this Friday night is 214 North 7th Street in Norfolk, 68701. Of course, that's not where we're at. We're at an undisclosed location that Kimberly Meyer had no trouble finding, which is good. And as I understand it, you're gonna do a little something special for the graduates. I Have you know. had a graduate in your family uh, this year? I do. Who's that? Yes. Um, my nephew, Colton, okay. he's from Tilden. He graduated this year. Um, but it sounds like they are going to have um, 
a later ceremony. I think it's in June. So from Elkhorn Valley High School. Yes. Yes. Great school system. Yeah. Beautiful building too. Yeah. So this is for Colton and all the other graduates this year. A little something special from Kimberly Meyer as she performs tonight on Quarantine Tonight. All right. So when I was picking my songs for this program, I wanted to do less about me, more about what I can do for the viewers. Um, yes, I have my nephew, Colton, this is for you, but anybody out there who's watching, um, especially on Facebook, if you want to comment, tag um, that family, family member that you know, whether it's a son or daughter, grandchild, whatever. Um, I'm only gonna play through this one time because this song can get kind of long. So just one time, it's about one minute, it won't last long. So this is your chance to honor that graduate in your family. Family. All right, that's enough of that for the graduates. <laughs> All right, now this next song, I have to warn you guys just a little bit. This is going to play a little bit more on the rocker side, so hang in there. If you don't like rock, this is only gonna last about four minutes. Um, but the reason why I added this song um, was because of the all the craziness that's happening and there's a lot of differing opinions and people arguing about what's what's the right thing to do. There are some people out there that are trying to make light of the situation and making jokes here and there, but there was one that stood out to me. Uh, <laughs> so they're talking about comparing this pandemic to the zombie apocalypse and there's no zombies. So I thought it would be funny, even though this isn't a funny song, to add this one called Zombie.
Well, that was different, wasn't it? <laughs> well, that was zombie, and I'm gonna lighten things back up, don't worry. That was for my rocker friends. I gotta show that just a little bit. Um, the next song, um, I want to send this out to Max back there. This is um, our favorite song at the moment. This is by Ingrid and Dress, and not so much for the mushy reasons, but um, I just thought it was such a clever, clever song. Um, because of the perspective. I've never heard a song written from this perspective before. Basically, the story is, you know that feeling you get when you're about to bring home that significant other to meet the parents? It's just kind of uncomfortable, and you kind of want to warn them about a couple of things. You know, just let's, let's talk this out before we do this. So um, that's what this song is about, and um, this is called More Hearts Than Mine. Pretend that he don't like you Oh, if we 
Would you be breaking more hearts than mine? Would you be breaking more hearts than mine? Thank you so much. You spend my nights at the bar room. Liquor was the only love I know. But you rescued me from reaching for the bottom and brought me back from being too far gone. Smooth as Tennessee whiskey. You're as sweet as strawberry wine. You're as warm as glass brandy. Honey, I stay strong. for love in all the same old places Find the bottom of the bottles always dry But when you hold out your heart I couldn't waste it Cause there's nothing like your love to get higher Smooth is Tennessee whiskey. You're as sweet as strawberry wine. You're as warm as glass brandy. Honey, I stay stoned on your love all the time. It's Tennessee whiskey. It's Tennessee whiskey. You're as smooth as Tennessee whiskey. It's Tennessee whiskey. It's Tennessee whiskey. Beautiful music there from Kimberly Meyer as we work our way through a Friday night here on News Channel Nebraska's Quarantine Tonight. And uh, wow, she's as good on the piano as she is on the guitar. Uh, and she's not really sure which one she likes better. Maybe the one she's playing at the time. Uh, Whichever one I don't screw up. 
at oh, the time. Goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, yeah. goodness. You, <laughs> it sounds great. Thank so uh, what would you say your biggest influence is? Obviously country. Uh, what For do you sure. like singing the best? Mm, everything. Um, it is. Lately, I've probably gotten a lot of influence from Lady Gaga, which is kind of weird to say, but... She's a powerful yeah, she, entertainer. Yeah, yeah. powerful and voice, too, yeah. It is, uh, and uh, she's an entertainer in a lot of different ways. True. Uh, in movies Piano and, player yeah, and everything, yeah. yeah. Uh, great, great, great sound. And coming up, you've got some country songs that you're going to play for us. Uh, we have another hour of music ahead of us, and we're really looking forward to that. We might even have some time for some extras. Uh, and if you're lucky, my youngest, Blake, who's making a return appearance behind camera number two, uh, will let you off of the fog machine that has been <laughs> plaguing many of the artists in the last month and a half. It's been so long since I've had the fog. So it is. You, yeah. Like, uh, You've been going through this yeah. COVID thing as a entertainer. What has it been like to not perform? I've seen you on Facebook doing mini concerts, uh, just kind of celebrating your love of music. Uh, is that a release for you? Of course. Yeah. Right. Um, it's, it's something that has always been like a stress reliever for me. Um, actually, this COVID thing, you know, staying at home hasn't been, you know, too heartbreaking for me because it allows me to work on my craft. You know, like I said earlier, it's looking at things in a positive way. Right. So it, it's allowing me to work on music, whereas before, I, was, I wasn't I was home very much. You know, we were traveling all the time, whether right. it be duo, band, whatever it was. You know, it's, it's nice to stay home every once in a while. Don't you think yeah. that's true for a lot of people? This, this whole experience, however difficult or painful or uh, inconvenient, has produced just periods of joy, some happiness, some pushing the reset button and kind of starting over in a lot of ways. For sure, yeah. Yeah, and uh, unfortunately, some people, I just saw another person today online, one of my friends, you know, they, they lost their job due to this, or um, I've actually, somebody else I'm coming to mind now that they lost an internship. So they're losing jobs, but it's, like a rebirth. You can reinvent yourself. You can do something that you've always wanted to do or something that you've always wanted to learn. You know, read a book, you know, whatever it is, something that you've been putting off, whether it's cleaning the house or whatever it you is. You have a very positive yeah. attitude. That's what it takes to get through it. So the other thing I was going to say, uh, being a member of the South Dakota National Guard, uh, obviously they had some uh, coronavirus issues that yeah, that resulted in the National Guard being called up, I believe, or they talked about it in the state of South Dakota. Did you end up getting called into action? Um, it was potential. They were preparing for it. Um, a lot of other states had, um, you know, built these temporary hospitals, which ended up not being so great. You know, they actually lost money doing that because they weren't being used. Um, our state was smart, and I, and I know this because I went to a training um, where they were preparing the, the soldiers to act as like CNAs and becomes, you know, CPR certified and whatnot, just, just in case, you know, we had to actually go into the working hospitals um, to fill vacancies due to like the doctors or nurse staff that just, yeah. if they caught COVID. So far, I haven't been called to do that, but um, the boots we're trained, are and, we're trained yeah. and ready to go, so The yeah. boots are polished and they are yeah. ready. All right, she's a 10-year member of the South Dakota State National Guard, which uh, we certainly honor that service. And uh, we'll hear more from Kimberly Meyer in the next hour. We're going to take a quick break here on News Channel Nebraska's Quarantine Tonight, brought to you by the University of Nebraska Medical Center. We'll be right back. Welcome back to News Channel Nebraska's Quarantine Tonight. A reminder that we do have news coming up at 10 o'clock tonight, and unfortunately, I'm the bearer of some bad news. Uh, protests erupting in Omaha this evening, uh, demonstrating against uh, police violence in the state of Minnesota. Uh, those uh, 
Uh, there are individuals protesting in American cities all over our country tonight, and now those protests have turned to 72nd and Dodge Street in Omaha. We will have video for you momentarily just to keep you up to date on the situation as we have reporters uh, on scene getting all the information so that we can uh, make sure the people are informed about this same development happening in Nebraska's largest city. Uh, tough night for a lot of Americans, tough week for a lot of Americans on top of coronavirus. But our goal tonight with Kimberly is to celebrate what's right about our state, the talent that you share with people. Uh, I don't know if we can put a value on it because there are so many people that watch this channel for this time to enjoy and escape. And that's what music does. And I, you know, as somebody that doesn't play music during this process of quarantine tonight, I've just been impressed by what people are able to do thanks to the talents of people like you. So that has to feel good, doesn't it? Yeah. And I think it's amazing. A lot of the people that have been on this show, I know, but it's kind of amazing. There's a lot of people that I've never heard of before. So this is great to get them out. And for people like us that might not know people, you know, in other parts of the state that can. There's a lot of talent in this state. Yeah, for sure. And you're at the top of the list. Let's do this. <laughs> I understand we've got a little Johnny Cash on the banjo tonight. Yeah. So instead of trumpets, I'm going to play a little banjo. just a nerd, right? <laughs> Who plays banjo, right, anymore? It's kind of a fun instrument. I actually like it. Um, I am actually going to do one more since I went through the trouble of bringing this thing, and so I'm sorry for the torture, you guys. Um, but I'm going to play along with a little track to hopefully make this thing sound a little bit better. So, Ty, hit it. <laughs> Well, don't go around tonight 
Sorry for the quick switcheroo. It's time to get rid of that thing, I think. And apparently, I like CCR because I'm going to throw another one at you guys. Um, this one, I do want to send out to my friend Katie, who is also in the South Dakota National Guard. But on the civilian side, she is a nurse working on the front lines, working with COVID patients. and. Um, I want to thank her for all of her hard work, and I want to extend that to everyone else that is working these really long hours, you know, tirelessly helping those who are sick and in the hospitals as well. Um, this song is called, Have You Ever Seen the Rain? Now, I'm going to do it just a little bit differently. Imagine that. Um, <laughs> I fell in love with how, uh, actually, Paula Nelson, if you don't know who she is, this is Willie Nelson's daughter, and I saw Willie at the Corn Palace in Mitchell, South Dakota, whoop, whoop, and uh, she opened for her dad, and she played this song, and she slowed it way down, and it was just so captivating, and I loved it. So um, ever since then, this is how I play this song. This is Have You Ever Seen the Rain? Someone told me long ago There's a calm for the storm I know It's been coming for some time When it's over, so they say It'll rain a sunny day Well, I know Shining down like water I wanna know Have you ever seen the rain? I wanna know Have you ever seen Yesterday and days before, sun is cold and rain is hard. I know, been away from my time to forever on a boat. You deserve a fast and slow. I know, he can't stop. I
Have you ever seen the rain? Next song that I want to do for you guys actually is for my parents who are watching tonight on Facebook. So hi, mom and dad. Um, this is called Country Roads Take Me Home, a little John Denver. Um, it's been played a lot on this show and for good reason, uh, for sure. Nebraska has some of the most beautiful country in the world, I think, and for sure, um, I mean, I believe that I grew up in the most beautiful part of Nebraska, but anyway, this song goes out to them. Almost heaven, West Virginia. Take me home. Thank you guys so much, and thank you all for tuning in. The last song that I'm going to do for this set um, is actually going to go out to all of the Vietnam veterans and their families. Um, being on the other side in the military, uh, we see firsthand how hard it is on the families when their service member is gone. Um, deployed. Um, now, these days we do have the cell phones and technology to help that situation, even though it's still rough. Think about back in the Vietnam times and World War I, World War II, they didn't have cell phones. They wrote letters, and it might be an eternity before you hear back from one another. And that's kind of what this song is about. And like I said, I want to send this out to the families and thank them for their service as well. This is a song called Traveling Soldier. Mm -hmm. 
Two days past eighteen, he was waiting for the bus in his army greens. Sat down in a booth, a cafe there. Gave his order to a girl with a bow in her hair. He's a little shy, so she gave him a smile and he said, Would you mind sitting down for a while and talking to me? Feeling a little old. She said, I'm off in another mind where we can go. So they went down and they sat on the pier. He said, I bet you got a boyfriend, but I don't care. Would you bow your heads for a list of local Vietnam dead? Crying all alone under the stands was a piccolo player in the marching band and one name red. Nobody really cared. But a pretty
A soldier's coming home Sweet sounds of Kimberly Myers. Sounds so good. This uh, young lady was born just north, uh, raised just north of Royal on a farm, and uh, she's done well from the uh, so her experience as a soldier to this. Just a varied background and a real disciplined approach to music. I mean, you got some beautiful songs there with the guitar. What's next? I can't imagine. Is the, the clarinet... <laughs> Actually, yes, the moment you've all been waiting for. Is that coming right up around <laughs> yeah, this break? It's gonna, oh. Yeah, first song in the next break. I'm going to pull out the clarinet for one. So. All right, well, we look yeah. forward to that. Uh, as we do move through our Friday night, I want to shift gears here for just a moment. Uh, we are getting reports out of our largest city in Nebraska that the response to George, Flo George Floyd's killing in the state of Minnesota at the hands of a Minneapolis police officer allegedly is uh, causing cities across America to experience uh, violence tonight. This is what it looked like at uh, 72nd and Dodge well before the sun went down. You could just see large crowds uh, gathering at the intersection, uh, protesting uh, the uh, killing of George Floyd in uh, the state of Minnesota, in the city of Minneapolis. And you can see uh, just a number of different protesters there. Again, this was when the protests started, and uh, certainly things have evolved since then. We're still working to get more video, but I want to switch over to this second round of video uh, that we picked up off of our Telemundo, Nebraska sister station. This is what it looks like or looked like before the sun went down. You can see a large police presence near the intersection of 72nd and Dodge in Omaha. Uh, we are now getting reports that uh, police are using uh, more aggressive measures to quell the crowd, uh, obviously upset after a week of troubling events in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh, we will have full coverage on this development in Nebraska's largest city. We have at least four reporters on the scene and we'll have more as we approach 10 o'clock. You're watching News Channel Nebraska. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to Quarantine Tonight. You're watching uh, News Channel Nebraska. Tonight we have Kimberly Meyer with us on television. She's done a great job. Beautiful voice. I bet you get told that all the time. Uh, that is a gift to have a voice like that. And we were just talking. Uh, you do have a website. You do have a Facebook page. Let's show people what that is as uh, you get ready to perform here with the clarinet. I can't believe you're actually going to do a polka. You're trying to out-variety the variety <laughs> show. Well, I know how popular the polka has been on this show, so I had to try my hand at it, too. Now, were you raised with polka? Or is it something you... Well, I heard it every once in a while. My grandma really loved it, so um, occasionally I would listen to it. I won't say that I loved it, but... But here yeah. you are playing it with a clarinet. <laughs> yeah. uh, tell everybody what your website is. So it's www. KimberlyMeyerMusic.com, and Meyer is M-E-Y-E-R. Oh, I bet you have to tell people yeah, that all the yeah, time. Yeah, there's so many different spellings of it, so, yeah. And then Facebook, the same, Facebook.com slash KimberlyMeyerMusic. That's my new page there, so. Very good. We'll get that up here in a second. Okay, so you can play polka. Can you dance polka, or does it stop at the instrument? Well, what I always tell people is that I play music so I don't have to dance. Good point. So that's <laughs> I'm for not the a dancer. that's for the rest of us. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what's this polka called here? Clarinet polka. 
Oh, it's the clarinet polka. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Kimberly Meyer with the one and only clarinet song on the repertoire tonight. You're watching News Channel Nebraska, and there is her website right there. You can find out more by going to that. Thank you so much. Okay, follow me over here. <laughs> so yeah, that was the clarinet polka. And um, fun fact about that song, uh, I played the piano part, the backing track onto that. So uh, I really did double duty on that song. So I was playing a duet with myself. Um, and that's a song that I've actually always wanted to play. I was a clarinet performance music or clarinet performance major in college, so I had to pull that one out for you guys. So this next song is another upbeat song, and I hope you guys will like it. Uh, every time I play it in a show, people always get up and dance, and it's probably just because. You know, I play a lot of slow songs, and I'm like, thank goodness, she's playing a fast song. <laughs> but anyway, um, and I might need some clapping participation in here, otherwise it's going to be awkward. So this is Old Time Rock and Roll. Just take those old records on the shelf.
The kind of music just soothes the soul. I reminisce about the days of old with that old time rock and roll. Still look at old time rock and roll. The kind of music just soothes the soul. I reminisce about the days of old with that old time rock and roll. Hey. <laughs> Thank you guys. Oh my gosh, they're such good sports. Oh my gosh. And thank you guys for all your hard work. I know you've been at this for weeks now. Good job running the cameras and sound. Ty's um, making me sound good up here, I hope. <laughs> no, thank you so much, Ty. And again, Mike, for having me and everybody that's tuning in. I really, really do appreciate it. I've got a couple more. Um, I do want to talk a little bit about my next song. Um, this is one that I've always wanted to perform the moment that I heard it. And it actually came out last year. It's by Casey Musgraves. And um, it was crazy because it's talking about these rainstorms and all these bad things that are happening. And it was so crazy because it was happening during the Nebraska floods that were affecting so many people um, in, in different parts of South Dakota and Iowa as well. Um, and then I heard it again this year and it was just, it, I had to play it because here we are in this big pandemic and it still applies. And I think it just gives comfort to those who are struggling. And I, I wanna make a point too, you know, you hear it all the time. We're in the same storm, but we're not in the same boat. And that's absolutely true. And I just want everyone to just know, be kind. You never know what somebody else is going through and someone that might be really, really struggling. And if you are one of those people that are having a hard time right now, just know it will be okay. And you're gonna hear that in this song. Just open your eyes. There is a rainbow coming, I promise. Oh. 
I'll be all right, you guys. Things are starting to look up. Aside from the what's happening right now, that's something completely different, but hopefully we'll get back to the real, the real normal soon. Um, I want to do a version of God Bless America for you guys next. Hope you like it. God bless America Land that I love Stand beside her And guide her Through the night With the light from above God bless us Some beautiful music there, and do we ever need that song today in America and tonight? There's so many things that are troubling that are happening right now, but uh, that is so well done. And so many people on uh, social media are saying, what a beautiful voice. Uh, That is a true compliment to have that many people recognize just the beauty of your voice. So we do have a little time here. I don't know. (laughs) I know you're always prepared. do we have another one you're thinking of? Um, sure. I have to decide which one. That's always the hard part. As long as you know I'm not singing along. Uh, <laughs> I'm just here to enjoy the music, but uh, I think our audience uh, would enjoy with. one more here. And then, of course, at 10 o'clock tonight, we'll have an update on the latest in news developments in Omaha uh, as we have uh, protests there with pepper spray being used by police at 72nd and Dodge. We'll get you more information on that. But in the meantime, we have Kimberly Meyer here who is delighting us with her voice, her patriotism, and uh, more than anything, just the purity of everything you've done here. Just so refreshing and relaxing on a Friday night. So we'll let you wind things up on our show. Thank you so much. Well, earlier we talked about my influences, and usually it's, you know, my answer is classic country, like Patsy Cline and, you know, Shania and like all those types. But 
I did mention Lady Gaga. So I thought maybe maybe it's fitting to do a Lady Gaga song. So we'll give this one a try. It's been a while, so forgive me. Kimberly Meyer doing it so well on this Friday night here on Quarantine Tonight. Thank you again for being here. Thank you for sharing your talent with us. And uh, let's put up that website. If you want to know more about Kimberly Meyer, we've got uh, her website here. You can see it right there on TV. Go to that. It's got information about you, about your... All about me, the all... lessons that I teach, the... um, my and... background, and you know, schooling and all that kind of sort of thing. And you can message me there. You can message me on Facebook. So yeah. we also want to thank you for your service in the uh, United States Army through thank the uh, South Dakota National Guard and for being here tonight. She's a resident of Plainview and a beautiful, talented voice. We hope that you go on to do great things as you continue on in your solo career. And uh, it sounds like you're going to be recording potentially uh, a yeah, little hopefully. bird told me oh yeah somebody out there yeah hopefully pretty soon um like i said earlier this quarantine is not all that bad you know giving you time at home to work on your craft write a little music and you know make plans for the future um so i'm trying to make the most of it for sure 
Well, good luck to you. Thank and you. Uh, with the piano lessons, I hope that whoever you teach can play the yeah, chariots of fire. Yeah, and I want to say hello to all my piano students that are watching. If they're still awake, I bet they are, but oh, it's, are it's you still kidding summer, me? Yeah, the right? kids are operating yeah. until all hours of the night. Yeah. Uh, just a couple of other notes. Next week, I keep telling folks about this uh, night. Tuesday night next week, Stephen Larson is going to be here. Interesting about Stephen, he's actually from Creighton, Nebraska, a world-class pianist. His daughter is joining him. She is just as good on the violin uh, as she starts her career at uh, UNL. And then he's bringing two very accomplished singers with him. So we are going to have a great show on Tuesday night, like we do every single night. Uh, but Stephen's kind of special because he was the first guest we had on quarantine tonight and uh, we rolled that piano from a Lutheran High Northeast out and he just knocked it out of the park so relaxing so talented and so much more all right it's approaching 10 o'clock again thank you very much to Kimberly Meyer you're watching News Channel Nebraska's quarantine tonight good night everybody from this undisclosed location I'm Mike Flood